Back in the world of Empire Total War, hopefully with a mod that's not going to crash every five minutes. That's right, today we're playing Darth Mod, a mod all about Darth Vader. Yeah, it's not about Darth Vader. I was also equally as disappointed to find that out. So hey, what's going on my gravy babies? Back in the world of Empire Total War, we are today with a new mod and hopefully a new experience. Now, Darth Mod doesn't have as many nations as I think Minor Factions Revenge, although I haven't gone through them always. I think it's missing a couple of them, but at the same time, all of these nations are starting to blur together and my eyeballs are bleeding. But that won't stop me. No, no nothing has stopped me to this point. Uh, cool math games, uh, artillery only, uh, you know, it's just essentially, what won't I do for a quick buck, eh? Welcome to the 1700s where I am playing the Papal State. Well, not really. I'm the Italian State. Essentially the Pope, but with more statage. And you know, I haven't been locked in one building in the middle of Rome yet, so I actually have a bit of room to change history here. Now, if I can see, Darth Mod hasn't really changed anything uh, map-wise. I mean, there's a different map in the mini-map, but other than that, it is essentially the base vanilla one, if I recall correctly. Uh, there might be a couple different things that are different that I can't figure out, cause why the hell would I play vanilla? Like, come on, seriously, bruh. Now, we don't start with any enemies, just the usual gang of banditry and pirates. Come on, guys, I'm literally the Pope. You can't steal my stupid little hat. It's not okay. Jesus, we'll, we'll be sad. Now, apparently our population is 1.4 million, but that's clearly wrong because everyone on God's green earth is my son and my daughter and part of my population. At least they, uh, they will be soon enough. <clears throat> Have I ever shown off the government stuff in Empire Total War? Because it's actually really, th that guy literally does nothing. Callisto, y you do nothing. F why are you in ch Who gave you a position in this government? So yeah, if you don't like sorting your government because I'm a monarchy, we just kick them out. I just got someone that is exactly the same. I'm good. There we go. I just had to fire two people to get someone who knows how to do their job. But yeah, we're technically a monarchy, as the Pope is to this day. It's uh, more of an elective monarchy, though, I think, technically. So I'm not entirely sure who's going to be the next uh, owner of my kingdom. Although someone... How the hell do I have someone else claiming the Pope? Who are you? Clearly, I am just not up to date on my Pope lore at all, am I? Oh, oh geez, I um, <clears throat> I have a, 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 bit, a very big industry in Italy, uh, the industry of wine. Yeah, I just need it for the communion. That's why it reduces the chance of food shortages because uh, Jesus is happy you're all drinking his blood and uh, the bread, which is like his foreskin or something, right? That's right, my child. Come here and drink the blood of the holy G fuel, that is Jesus, and then nibble on this foreskin bread, man. If Jesus comes back, I, I really hope he gets a G Fuel sponsorship now. I'm, I'm already blabbering. Okay, first things first, I should probably figure out what the hell. Oh my god, I just realized how big the unit sizes are in Darth Mart. Here you go. While I'm deliberating a bit, I'm going to go ahead and try to kill someone over in Venice. It's not like an aggressive kill. It's more of like a, <laughs> gotcha, buddy. So uh, hopefully the Venetians take this the right way. And yeah, he's dead. You got pranked, buddy. All right, well, first turn in and everyone's declaring war on each other. We got United. United Provinces, Spain, Prussia, Poland, you know, Russia, Sweden, just all the usual stuff really, nothing too spectacular and I guess I should probably do something too. Yeah, I should probably find a home for these 500 pikemen because boy, I, I sure loved pikemen in the past, now I have like three times more of them. That, okay, that's very confusing. How do I have a new royal heir? The royal heir have given birth to a beautiful daughter. Of the of uh, that's not how Catholicism works, mister. Okay, so the Pope's been a bit of a naughty boy. He got married, immediately had the coitus, and gave birth to his beautiful daughter, who is clearly zero years old. I, I don't know how we're going to explain this one to Jesus. Well, I've sinned enough, I think, so it's only fair that I, <laughs> I do a bit more sinning and figure out which Italian state I'm going to invade straight away. Not entirely sure if I'm going to enjoy this massive unit count. Uh, 500 pikemen's quite a lot. Okay, I don't know if it's Spain and Austria. I'm just going to risk it. Okay, if I don't enjoy this this battle, I, I will just go ahead and... Okay, Spain joined me. That's good. I will just go ahead and, and restart the campaign if it's too ridiculous. What the, that does that is not a dragoon. Oh my god, that's so many pike. I have a thousand units just in pikemen. This is completely ridiculous. There's just so much crap all over the map. What are the Venetians even doing? Yeah, I thought I might get overwhelmed by like the ridiculous unit size, but the AI is just oh, it's not it's not enjoying it. 
Oh uh, great, my pikemen are getting charged by the cavalry and they're, they're not even looking the right way with their pikes. What is the point of you? Oh no, P okay, the Venetians have just resorted to what I'm assuming is just mass charging me with all of their infantry. <laughs> God damn it, why do they always do this? Oh boy, I sure can't wait to have a line bat. Nope, no line battles today. We're going back to the 1500s. That's right, we're just hitting each other with shovels and just... Pointing each other with pointy sticks. God damn it. Okay, so far the battle's a little bit odd. Um, I, I, it's just a big mess, really. But I have noticed that if I put my pikemen in front, um, they, they, they just sort of get caught on them. So I'm just going to shoot at them. And my pikemen. My pikemen will also be taking some of the bullets. Although there are there are plenty of pikemen to go round. Half their army just ran away. I, I have no idea what's going on right now. I was just realized, but I think my men uh, might not be that Italian. Well... I, I won that battle at a, at a massive cost, and I have to say, I I very much did not enjoy the ridiculous 500 pikemen units. Oh, no. Oh. Goddamn pirates! Really? That immediately, the next turn, they come back. Okay, I did a quick restart so we can try that battle again, but this time we only have 375 pikemen in our army, and uh, it, it's it's a lot less than 500, but I'm gonna say it's still quite a lot. Look, I auto-resolved the second battle. The first one went um, a lot better than the, the original battle we fought, which was in an alternative timeline that we will never mention again. Well, Jesus hates us anyway at this point, so I'm gonna build a school and teach people the secrets of the spinning jenny. I have a morbid curiosity to see if Mod has changed the naval battles. Nope, don't do it. Don't ever do it. Oh, <laughs> uh, Jesus, can I have a favor? Uh, what? Why, why does Mexico own Corsica? What? Oh my god. It's, it's the Bermuda Square. Well, we got over that bankrupt thing, but I kind of want to stop it from happening ever again. So I've decided to go on a crusade. Um... Now, I don't have a map, so I don't know exactly where my boat's going to take me, but boy, I sure hope it's the Holy Land, wink. Oh, shucks. I don't think this is the Holy Land at all. Ah, oh, it's London. Well, I've already burned it to the ground now. I mean, I, if I burnt London, I might as well also burn down Scotland, so it's only fair. The general of the Scottish forces is a mortar called Gaylord. <laughs> oh. See you around, Gaylord. Uh, it's not the first Gaylord that I've dealt with that's been firing things across. <laughs> I'm, I'm edited that. Oh, that's nice. The Scottish people will even let me tax them. They don't even care. As long as it's not the English taxing them, they're cool. And there goes Ireland. Crusade successful, everybody. And that, that should be Britain dead too. Although I didn't get a pop-up thing for it. But we'll, we'll double check that in a second. Oh yeah, not only is Britain dead. But their uh, their world power status has been usurped by their, their ex-colony. Okay, but the crusade, it must continue. I got a little bit sidetracked and lost in London. But it's not the first time a crusade's accidentally pillaged a the wrong country so uh you know uh th this time i'm gonna get it right uh i think we're on the right planet is this earth oh yeah kentucky that sounds middle east and we're in the right place here we go for further for jesus uh what's the word they say uh the prius Prius, uh, Prius something, uh, Pri Deus Prius, that's right, get yourself a Prius. That's a, that's a very fitting quote, Mr. John Adams, I think you knew what was coming. Ah, oh, shucks, I've done it again, Th this ain't the Holy Land, I've just burnt down Pennsylvania. Damn it, what? You're telling me this ain't the right place too? Oh, it's Maryland, god damn. You know, if, I, if we just keep taking these promises, I'm sure eventually we'll hit Jerusalem, right? Well, well, well. That is just plain rude, Mr. Portr- uh, sorry, Mrs. Portrigal. <clears throat> Tips Pope hat- oh, wait, no, sorry, I don't have a Pope- Oh, those goddamn pirates stole my hat! Oh, that's new. Uh, it's a war of succession. I- I don't understand how Portugal has a, a right to succession of being the Pope, but... Clement, that- that's Clement right there going up into the heavens with his... children. <laughs> Okay, so I'm having this issue where the Ottomans, every time they do their turn, it takes like five minutes to pass. So just to take out my frustrations, I'm gonna go blow them up. You know, our 13 colonies, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go for peace this time around because I, I need to go ahead and deal with an actual crusade to stop a goddamn AI taking five minutes to do a turn. I, I don't even care who joins this war, Mr. Ottomans. You are literally driving me insane. Everything was fine, but then you just took so goddamn long to finish your turns. I ended up in a naval battle against the pirates, and I knew I could win it if I did it in-game, but if I if I did it, 
I did it in the auto resolve. I wouldn't be able to do it. And honestly, uh, this is this is a real sacrifice. Oh, Portugal wants peace with us and a trade agreement. We were just we were just at war, and now you want my grape? <laughs> I didn't even realise. But Russia has actually taken over half of Europe. They're they're all the way up to Vienna. Cut down. Right, we're just we're just gonna have to end it off here. Uh, I I I beat the Ottomans. I took the province that apparently ends up being the problem, which was Constantinople, and it's still lagging to hell. I even sold it to Russia. That didn't work. It's still still dying. But yeah, this is pretty fun. Uh, it, other than you know the the Ottomans trying to bore me out of existence, and uh, yeah, I would have liked to continue a little bit more, but I I just physically can't. I'm not lying to you when I say it takes up to five minutes for the Ottomans to finish their turn. I'm going insane. I'm actually going insane, and I I'm playing as the Pope, and I had a child. I mean I'm I'm going insane.